Hey guys, this is Nerf Socom again with stress tests. Today we'll be testing the Rapid Strike CS18. We know it's kind of sad we're going to be breaking this really nice gun, but you guys suggested it, so here we go. Now, we'll start off with a firing test of a stock Rapid Strike. go. So now since we finished the basic test, everything went well, just as new, and now we'll be doing a voltage test. Uh, what we're doing, we're just basically putting a 9 volt battery on here. Before it was 6 or 4 C batteries, um, so it was uh, 6 volts, so now it's 3 volts more. Uh, we know the ampage is definitely much different, but uh, this is the best we could do here. So here we attach. All right. There we go. Worked pretty well. So our last test with the 9 volt battery worked surprisingly well, but it didn't quite break the gun yet. So what we've done is added another 9 volt battery to the and front here. Just completely double the power. Let's plug this in. And let Matthew shoot it, make sure it grabs. Yep. And oh, this is on the way. Wow. That's that good. was really far range. So for the last test, we had two 9 volt batteries, which did work well for the first three shots. They did have far ranges, but the last three, it definitely weakened. And you could see that the ranges were getting shorter per shot and it was getting less accurate. Because of the amperage. Uh, this time we've got a nickel metal hydrate battery right here. This has a ton more amperage to it. We're gonna connect this in here. It's a little bit hard to connect, let me see this. Uh, let's see how much this can get. Wow. That was good. It didn't break, but it went very far. That was nice. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. It's crazy. So that worked so well, we thought we'd double the power, double the ampage. So we put two 9.6 nickel metal hydrate airsoft batteries into the front of this. With it. Two 1600, they're both 1600 milliamps too. All right. Rev it all the way. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. It <laughs> worked. It work. Woo. Does it still work? Nope, it's out. Broke it. Yeah. <laughs> So as you can see, this thing was way too overpowered. And what happened was the motor overheated and totally burned out. So basically it's broken. We can use it again later, but for now it's burnt out. Uh, the next test is going to be a dropping test. We're going to be dropping this like 15 feet. So on this lovely day, we'll be doing a drop test. As you can see, it works well. So the last drop we had bent that edge of the barrel up, snapped there, there, and a bit there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. With that last, last drop test, the whole front like sight piece snapped off. This little sideways nothing. Oh. Hi. <laughs> So the major parts that broke was the front barrel assembly that just snapped off and also the stock bits of it broke right there and you know scratches on the sides and on the back but otherwise if we keep on dropping it all these other parts are really thick and sturdy so this is pretty much all the damage we received from dropping it. So now we'll have a fair and balanced battle. Hey! That's not fair! I don't have an ammo or a battery! I'm tired of this! Ugh! 
So after this battle, uh, we had some issues, and some of the parts of the gun broke. The stock broke off. There's big scratches on here. The uh, barrel was all smushed in. You can't probably shoot it very well at all now. All these cracks and chips everywhere. It's melted in some areas right here. It's really bad. Uh, so now, let's run it over with a car. Even though our last test was pretty successful, as you can see, we're now going to run it over with a car. Hey guys. Ouch. So instead of breaking the gun, they broke the wood. So we ran it over with a car, and as you can see, there's some very big cracks along the mag line. Um, I was thinking that it wouldn't fit a mag anymore, so I thought I'd try. But it does. Kind of having technical difficulties here getting it out. <laughs> <clears throat> We were hoping that we are going to break this gun in half with the car, but we didn't really do it. So we're going to use axe. Alright. That was pretty good. So, as you can see, there was little damage on the can, except for the button pressed up. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Darn it. <laughs> so as you can see, the axe cut a straight hole through the mag well, and pieces are coming off, even t the two little power wires were cut, and um, now we've got a pretty nice handle for this gun. So we've got some complaints about how we didn't do enough damage to the other gun. So I got a melon. Alright, let's smash this thing. So, we've shortened this rifle to a pistol sized gun, which I definitely like. It's a nice grip. We might have some trouble with the bag, the batteries, the motor. But otherwise, it's a nice size. Pew, pew. Oh, So those were all the things you probably shouldn't be doing to this gun. Uh, this was a very successful stress test. Thanks for watching Nerf SOCOM stress test on the Rapid Strike CS18. Uh, you can put in the comments below what gun you'd like to see next for us to break. But I'd say you probably shouldn't say the Centurion because it's a very nice gun. It would hurt our feelings. Yeah. Spray I just that. pressed oh, the disgusting. button to see if it still works. <laughs> Throw it away. Let's take this bottle out of its misery. Ah! <laughs> oh, I smell. <laughs> oh, I'm all wet. <laughs> oh man, that stinks. I gotta smell like this for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You made a hole like. <laughs> Squirted my face. <laughs>